Hey troops, John J. Smith here, back with a very special video. Today I am getting the one, the only, the biggest set LEGO has ever released, the UCS Millennium Falcon, which has just come back in stock. In fact, it's so new that it's not even on LEGO Online yet. The only reason I know it's in stock is because I literally called up my LEGO store to say, hey, do you have any idea when it's going to come back in stock? And they said, oh yeah, we just got a shipment today. So by complete chance, I'm one of the first people to go get it. And uh, the lady on the phone actually recommended I go there quickly because they only got 16, which is a bit surprising because you'd think, you know, after the massive hype around it and the fact that, you know, they sold out so quickly, they get a lot more in for the you know this time but no my local lego store only has like 16 for this so whatever i'm going off to pick it up now and i cannot wait now i'm going to say straight off i do not know if this is uh all lego stores around the world i recommend if you obviously want to pick it up call up your local lego store don't trust online because as i just showed you online it still says out of stock so even if it says out of stock don't trust it Call up your local Lego store, see if they've got it. I'm afraid I cannot guarantee anything. I've absolutely no idea if this is global. I don't even know if it's in my entire country. It might just be London for all I know. But still, I'm going to go there. I'm going to pick it up. I cannot wait. I really hope it comes with the wheels because I've heard it's pretty heavy. And quite frankly, I don't have to carry this back to the car. So, yeah. That being said, however, let's go. Oh, God, this is going to be great. There it is, the one and only, the UCS Millennium Falcon is within this box. You can kind of see the Lego Star Wars uh, logo there in between the sellotape. A couple of things I want to show you before I get into this. We have a couple of free gifts here, which I got obviously with buying this much Lego. Uh, we've got the VIP thing, which this is actually the second one of these I've got. I got one last month with another purchase. This is like a VIP replica of the Lego store, which is really cool actually. And it's surprisingly large for a free gift. Like normally poly bags are significantly smaller, so this is actually quite cool. Cool. Now, if you really want one of these, because I think they're only for purchase over £100, and if you can't afford to get one, obviously, then leave it down in the comments, because I may be doing a giveaway, because as I said, I do have two of these now, because I don't, and I don't really need to, of course, so, you know, if you really want to get one, leave it down in the comments, and I might do a giveaway, as well as the fact that I also got this 24-in-1 uh, box kind of set type thing, I think what this is, is just a bunch of pieces, and you, you know, sort of have maybe little builds you can do or something, I'm not entirely sure, obviously it's Christmas related, and just one little thing I want to talk about, it, I think mine's a bit faulty, not in terms of the actual thing inside, as I haven't opened it yet, but obviously this is the right way up. But this isn't. This is upside down, and I don't. I don't know why. It, it, it's just a, such a weird thing. I mean, maybe I'm meant to open it in a different way that I'm not seeing here. But it just seems so odd that you know one of the like the back of it is the wrong way around. But okay, whatever. Anyway, with that being said, I didn't get that from the Lego store by the way. That's mine. Uh, the Lego store doesn't sell knives. At least I don't think they do. Uh, with that being said, it's time to open this bad boy. For anyone who still says Lego is only a kid's toy, no. Just, just no. All right then, let's open this up and see what we've got. I mean, of course, I already know what we've got, but let's just pretend it's like a mystery unboxing or something. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. What could it possibly be? Uh, here we go. You know, I actually have an actual box cutter from my workplace, but I didn't get it for God knows whatever reason. Okay. Oh my God, it's the UCS Millennium Falcon. What a surprise. All right, got to open this. Uh, I think it's the wrong way around. Hang on. Alright. <sighs> How am I going to do this? I think my base plates, as you can see here, are too wobbly. <laughs> so the ground underneath this thing literally is not sturdy enough to support this. Okay, this is actually going to be fairly tricky, because I think I'm going to have to flip it over and do something. But I don't want to damage it in any way. 
But the thing is, the base plates are going to fall off the edge here. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Man, I'm damaging the base plates. Look at this. Okay. This thing is so heavy. God. I can't believe they make toys this big. There must be like a record of the world's biggest toys. Someone Google that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to take the base plates off it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Alright. We're going to try that again. Here we go. Alley up. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the wrong way around. Okay. There it is. Oh my god, look at it. It's so awesome. Alright, I'm going to take you off here. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's so cube. So cube. It's so, you know, cubular. Is that a word? Probably not. But you know what I mean. It's like very symmetrical in terms of most boxes, of course, are more thin that way. But this one isn't. This one, just a, just a freaking box. It's just a cube. Just a brick. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. So awesome. My set is literally breaking behind me. Whatever, I'm going to take this off. There you go. Actually, this is maybe a good a time to compare the sizes when I think about it. This is the Death Star box, of course, from 2008. Have a look there. I can't stand far back enough to make you see it, but uh, if I have a sort of a look like this. You can see the size difference. This one is actually a bit taller. Of course, this one is significantly thicker. And this one is also a bit sort of longer, as you can see. And the sand crawler box is pretty much the exact same size. Which is going to get you off there. Look at this thing, guys. This thing is so heavy. Whew. Uh, yeah, really. Not really a massive amount more to say. The let's build of this probably will be in the description as well as the review. The review almost definitely will not be coming this year. I really hope the let's build of this will be coming this year. But there's so many other things I've got to be doing. Like, uh, obviously I've got work. And I've also got um, other sets and just a whole bunch of other things. Because I want to leave this to a last. I've still got like, ten more sets which I really want to build. Uh, and I really want this to be like, the last. The, the, the piece de resistance of this year kind of thing. So I really, really hope I get this done by this year. But I've got 10 more really big sets. Obviously not as big as this, but you know, still really big sets, which I've got to do. So yeah, really, uh, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Oh god. And as I said at the beginning, if you really want to get used to this Millennium Falcon, keep calling your Lego store because trust me, they sell out quickly, and for some unknown reason, Lego just isn't making that many of them. I mean, I guess they're probably trying. I mean, it just seems logical, like a logical sort of sales move to make as many of them as you, as you can. But, uh, I don't know. I, I don't work for Lego. That is it then. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Probably a haul video. And it's going to be one hell of a haul, let me tell you. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye, troops. The UCS Millennium Falcon. It is the biggest set ever created, and I have said that about obviously the entire country, or maybe it's the entire world. I recommend if you are obviously one piggy. Star Wars logo you can kind of see through the sellotape right there. I'm pretty sure it's the white ray. Right, well, well, a couple of little things I want to show you before I get into this. We here. We. Make sure I'm all in frame. No, uh, you're not all in it. I've only got the box. No, I'm trying to. You're going too quickly. Go back Look, you're going. Okay, okay, we're we'll going to do this again. We're going to do this again. It's ridiculous. Um, you're not all in frame. I'm. We're we'll going to do this again. You're going too quickly. Fine, I'll go slowly. Right.